Good morning, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 60 Six Day Challenge 7.0. And today is day 18. So today we're going to wrap up our training on the referral applet by showing you how to track referrals that may be sent or coming in from non KW agents. And then we're actually going to view what referrals look like inside of the applet, how to move them and mark them as lost or archived. So let's jump into the referral applet here. And we've got our dashboard. We're gonna look at the My Referrals tab today. So we're gonna go into My Referrals. And the first thing I wanna show you is how to track a referral that may be sent or coming in from an agent that's not with KW. Previously, we showed you how to do a new referral for somebody with KW, but what if it's somebody outside of KW? You can actually track those referrals as well. So here's the uh, agent for this referral. Let's just say uh, Homer Simpson gets his license and he's gonna send us a incoming buyer referral. Uh, he's asked for 25% and we've agreed. There's an acceptance deadline in here, although we're gonna accept it immediately so it doesn't really need to be there. Um, let's say that the buyer is looking for a house somewhere between 300,000 and 400,000. Uh, the note says needs a garage for the DeLorean. Might give you a clue on who the client is going to be. That's correct. We're gonna go and look up our client, Marty McFly. Now, here's the reality. He probably already sent us the information for the client. Now we're just building the referral. So the contact would have to be inside your contact applet first before you could attach it to this referral. So if Homer had sent us an email and said, hey, I don't know anybody at my brokerage in Katy, would you take this referral? I would say, sure, who's the client? Give me the information, let me sign whatever you need me to sign. I would build Marty McFly as a contact in my contact record and then come in to track this actual referral. Uh, Marty wants to live in Katy, Texas. And we'll take out the phone number because there's an issue with that phone number right now. But I'm gonna go ahead and click on save. And now you're going to see that up here at the top, you've got pending referrals, active, funding, lost, expired, rejected, and then all. If we click on the active referral tab, we now have this referral. And you can see on the actual referral, here is the client's information on the right hand side. And here is the agent's information on the left hand side. So you can see that we've got Homer Simpson referring this buyer 300 to 400K at a 25% referral fee. And <clears throat> we can also add notes to this referral. It says send update. Uh, unfortunately, because this is not a KW agent, the update won't actually go through. So we're gonna just say testing update one, two, three, and click on send update. Now, if this had been a Keller Williams agent, and we were tracking it through the referral platform that way, then the agent on the other side would have actually gotten a notification. And we can see the updates inside of the actual notes and updates tab. We can always come in and click on add an update. Um, property now under contract, 10 day option, closing in 45 days, right? Something along those lines. You can always keep notes for yourself on the actual referral. Um, I was testing just before this video started and I had a test uh, referral that I then said, hey, you know what? I don't want this in my pipeline. It was just a test. I wanna go ahead and mark it as lost. Basically, that would mean, hey, you know what? He sent me Marty McFly, but turns out Marty and I didn't get along. Marty chose another realtor. Um, and they're under contract already. So that's not a referral that I'm going to be able to service. That would be one that I could come in and mark as lost. Now, earlier in the challenge, we showed you about sending referrals and how you can accept those referrals. And we had a little bit of an issue. I think it's because it was a demo account and actually receiving the requests. I saw that they came in, I couldn't accept them. And because I didn't accept them within 24 hours, you can see now underneath the expired column, well, let me get it to show up here. There you go. You can see it turns blue when you click on that tab. Uh, we have, I had my RTT friend Ruben send me a referral to test. Good old Marge, we couldn't get that one accepted. And the original test that we had with Marge, I couldn't get accepted. So those came in, they had a 24 hour countdown and because I wasn't able to accept them, 
they were expired. You could also have a referral sent to you and maybe it's a price point that you don't work or it's an area that you don't work. So you would have to reject that referral. Those would show under the rejected column. The last column you see there is the lost column. That is sometimes where you have a, um, a broadcast referral where somebody is sending a referral request to multiple agents and you can actually send that out through the map when you're sending out a referral and you can see broadcast referral here. This would be a case where you have multiple agents that you're going to select, send that referral to all of them at once. They would then accept the opportunity to work with you and you would award the referral to a specific individual. So that way, if you know maybe there's 10 agents in KD you want to refer to, you could send the referral to each one and then take it from there basically upon the responses, choose which one of the agents you want to award it to. If you were not the agent that it was awarded to, then you would see it underneath the lost column here. All right, so active, a funded should be self-explanatory, right? You've actually connected it to an opportunity and that opportunity has closed. And then you've got the other columns there. So that's how you're gonna view your actual referrals inside the My Referrals tab. You can see notes and updates around the actual referral itself. You can track referrals from agents that are not with KW, just so you can keep track of payments and who's coming in, who's going out, et cetera. And of course, we've already talked about how to do the referral system if it is a KW agent. That's it for referrals. Guys, tomorrow we're gonna start diving into opportunities, so stay tuned. As always, I'll look forward to talking to you again real soon.